Hello, happy Monday. Um, today I am going to do a Philomeno puzzle uh, that was recommended uh, by a few different people. Um, and this is going to be on puzzle.link. Uh, if you're not familiar with this site, it's great for um, what a lot of people call pencil puzzles, basically, you know, non Sudoku type stuff. Um, there's Star Battle and uh, Akari and Philomino and Minesweeper and Nonogram and just a whole bunch of stuff. So you can go on this site here. It's puzz.link and you can go to the database and just search for all kinds of puzzles. You can click up here and select different types of puzzles. Um, so this one, uh, so all of these, by the way, uh, the links take you to the person's Twitter page or their blog, wherever they've posted it. And then from there, you have to click on the, the link to go to the actual puzzle. Um, so that way they're uh, not bypassing the, the source of the puzzle. They want to give credit. So this one is from someone on Twitter. Their Twitter name is Kobauzu17, or however you pronounce that. Um, clearly, this is not uh, in English. Um, Google translates it as this a swazi hammer top 100 i don't know but i noticed this there's a section here where it says i post a puzzle every day at three o'clock almost every day anyways so this one was posted uh on april 6th um and again this is google translating this to english so uh philomeno 72nd concept second anniversary commemorative 17 by 17 so here we go let's Pull up on um, Puzzling here. Uh, let's just... Now, the way Philomeno works is, um, so you're filling the grid with dominoes, essentially. Fill, omino. Well, polyominoes, not dominoes. Dominoes would be two cells, always two cells. Um, triominoes would have three, etc. So you're filling the grid with uh, regions, essentially. Um, now, these numbers... For example, the six over here has to be part of a six cell region, right? Which could go like that. That would be a six cell region. Uh, but it could also, uh, it can turn as well. So, you know, it could do something like this, right? That would be a six cell region there. Um, and you can't have similarly sized regions touching each other orthogonally. So essentially what that means, let's see if I can find a good example right here, right? So if this comes down here, this could be a, a two cell region, but it would be touching another two cell region and that's not allowed. Uh, they can touch diagonally. So you can do something like this and this, that's okay, but not orthogonally. And there can also be regions uh, that don't have a number given. Um, like you could put, you know, a three up here and have a region with three. And that's allowed. So that's the rules of Philomeno. Um, and it's a little, it's not super obvious unless you kind of step back and look at it. But this spells out uh, second along here and... D, 2ND, and I think if you look it upside down, this would be 2ND as well. So second, so it's um, uh, the second anniversary of, I guess, him posting Puzzle Every Day. I don't know. Um, that was a, a Google Translate of what he posted, so it may not even be accurate. But regardless, this is the puzzle we're doing. All right, so let's see. What can we do? Um, and so on, on Puzzlink, you can click on a digit and drag, and it will sort of fill in that digit. Um, and you can also draw edges like that. And you can also click in an empty cell and drag, and it will draw lines. So you can kind of say, you know, this is going to have to go here, but I don't know what number it is yet, something like that. So I guess one thing we can do is we can put boundaries here because like we were just looking at, if this two comes down, this is going to be a, th you know, a three cell region of two. So that's not allowed. So we can, we can draw some boundaries in here. So those twos can't come down. Twos are a good place to look sometimes because 
Uh, especially if you get twos diagonally. I don't see any of those. But if you had twos, you know, diagonally from each other, you could draw a bunch of lines in. But I don't see any of those right now. Let's see. What else can we do? Okay, so this four down here, um, it, it could go down this way, right? Potentially. But even if it does that, the most we can have over here is two. So the four is going to have to come out here. Whether it goes down here or not, it has to come out that way. Now, that means this the 7 comes out, the 2 comes out. We know all those. Those 2s are done. That So now the 7 has to keep coming out. So, if the 4 came down here, we would have 1, 2, 3. It would still need to extend that way and get a 4th cell. And now it connects to this 4. So that is 4 cells. This, that's not a 1. This is going to have to be the, the, the 2. Uh, the 7 has to come up and connect here. Two, three, four, five. So these, these 7s could connect here, or this 7 could turn and go up. We don't really know yet on that one. This 9 has to come out and connect to this 9, though. But those 9s could come up through here, or go over this way. Uh, well, the 7 has to stick out this way, of course. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, so the sevens can't come down. They could come down to here, but they can't connect any farther because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd have nine sevens if it came down. So it can't come down any farther than this. But, but it could come down here and go out this way somehow. So we can't really say for sure it goes up. It's a one. We could, I guess, we can kind of draw. It's it's not super helpful, but sometimes it helps to be able to kind of see the edges. Uh, we can draw in these ones. This three has to come down, obviously. This four has to come down. Now this four can't go to here, because we will have a five cell region of fours. So we can put a boundary there, which then means these also can't. So you basically you can't have a four right there. But this one could still come over this way and connect to the 4 here, I think. So far, anyways. What else can we do? Ah, same thing here with the 2s. Two. These 2s, two, this 2 can't go up. It would connect to that 2, so it must come down. Which then means the 7, well, yeah, the 7 has to come over. If this 7 didn't come over that would have to be a one and you'd have two ones connected to each other. So this seven has to come over. So that's four. But one, two, three, four, five, six. So it can't come all the way over here because it would connect and that would be eight. So it can't go there. So one, two, three, four, whether it goes here or here, it's going to have to go there. Either way. But it doesn't necessarily come out one farther. Uh, actually, that's not true. Because we've got four. We could do five, six, seven, and that would still be okay. So it doesn't necessarily go to that cell. Hmm. It's going to have to take a couple of cells up here at least, but I can't quite see which ones yet. Let's see, this 3 has to come out this way. Okay, so now this 5. Let's uh, imagine it takes this cell. That's the most it can get over here. So 1, 1, 2. It's got to go this way. 3, 4, 5. It has to connect all the way over here, even if it has this one. Now, if we connect a 5 here, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be 6 six cells with five so we can't do that so these have to stop which means this one has to come down that way now the two goes down the four extends this direction this four has to come out this way now uh, which means this has to be a one this four can't go that way the six four five Two, three, four, five. If this goes down, you'll have seven cells of six, so that can't go that way. It's got to go here. The six now can't go up either. Three, it has to come out this way, which pushes the three that way. Nice. The two goes this way. Now we've got our, you know, 
kitty corner twos, like I was mentioning. Three, four, five. The two goes down this way. Seven. The two has to come this way. It can't go here. It'll connect to that two. Two, three, four, five. Now, if this six came down, you would have two cells in the middle here, if this was a wall. They can't be a two, obviously. But you also can't put a one in there because you'd have to have two ones. So in fact, the six has to go this way, I think, with a one. Two, three, four, five. And the seven is, the seven is gonna have to take both of those because it can't connect to the seven over here. Or it would have too many. And now we know this seven has to come down. Okay, and if it goes, if this is a seven, then we've got way too many sevens here connected. So that has to come across. Now this can't go, uh, it has to come out this way. Three, four, five, six. So again, if that was a seven, we'd have too many sevens. So it has to go this way. Seven. The five is forced this way. The two is forced that way. Two, three, four. Five's got to come one more. This two has to come out here, which pushes the nine over here. Two, three, four, five. So whether the nine goes here or here, it's going to connect to that nine for sure. Three, four, five, six, seven. So there's at least eight nines there. Now the three. The three, it could only get one here. So the three has to have one more that direction, which gives you a three cell region there. This one, ah, so if this is not a nine, we'd have an empty space here, which would have to have a one, but then you'd have two ones next to each other. So that one has to be a nine. This one could be a nine or a one. Because if that, that could be a one and the nine could extend out this way farther. So we don't quite know that yet. This five comes up here. All right. What about the seven back here? We've got to come up this way. Four. Uh, oh, this two. Two's forced. Now we're getting all kinds of these twos are kind of having a, a domino effect or a, a philomino effect, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh, this two can't go up because of that one. So it has to stick out this way. Uh, give us some more there. This can't be a seven or a two. So yeah, the seven could take th all three of these with a one there, or it could stick out this way and you could have a three or a four in there still. So, uh, let's see, this four can't go up because you would end up with five cells so that's this is forced this way and that means that four can't come down uh, the three has to come out this way that pushes the seven down here connects these three four you could still have a seven there that would give you seven sevens this four has to come out so now these can't connect because you'd have six, six cells for the four, so it has to come down this way. The twos, we can't connect the twos, so they gotta go this way, so this has to be a one. Oop. One. You can also click um, in the corners and make like pencil marks. I don't know that I've ever done that before on the site, but I know it's a thing you can do. This four has to come down here, which is gonna make that a one. The two goes that way. Uh, the four has to extend down here, which can't connect to this four, so we gotta go there. This two has to come out, thirteen's gotta come out this way, which pushes the seven there, four down here, thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, so now we have, that's our seven cells there. So, five's gotta go this way, that pushes the four up here, which connects it to the other four. We can't put a five there. So the five has to go this way. That's gonna give us a one up there. 
this is pretty common in Philomeno, in my experience, a lot of these, you know, single cell regions that end up being ones that aren't labeled as ones. Four is done. So 13, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is the most we can do through here. So it's got to come 10, 11, 12, 13 at least. It could go farther. These aren't necessarily 13s in here, but they can't be twos or fours. So it would have to be one or three in here. So you could take one more 13 and have a three or like three of them with a one, or you could have none of them and have a one and a three in here. Let's see, can we do, this two has to come down this way. Now this 13 might stick down here. It might stick out that way. It may just take all of these. We don't really know that yet. What else can we do? What about up here? This 10. Oh, the 10 has to come out this way, obviously. You can only pick up one up there. This 2 is done. This 1 is done. Oh, no, this is interesting. Oh, this is cool. Uh, okay, so we can't put a 1 right there because of the 1. We can't have a two cell because of this two, it would connect to the two. We can't do a three because it would connect to the three. Can't do a four, it would be connected to this four. We can't do a five because it's connected to this five. Six would then connect with these sixes. Can't do a seven because of these. Now, can we go, we could go eight with this. It could be seven cells here plus this eight. But this is for sure one big region, these seven cells are definitely part of one region, which pushes the two and the three out this way, which forces the eight down here and the three this, oh, this is cool. The ten, the tens and the eights are just gonna keep pushing each other down. Four, five, six, seven, and now the eight is connected. So this is, this can't be, this is at least nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is at least a nine cell region. That's, that's wild. I wonder, I bet we're going to do the same thing down here, aren't we? Let's see. Uh, this 8 has to come out this way, which means the 5 has to come up here. This corner one could be a 5 or an 8 at this point. Um, 7 goes up there. Okay, so the five, yeah, one, two, three, you know, four, it has to connect to this five, no matter what, which pushes the two over here. Yep, we're going to do the same thing over here. So this can't be a one. It also can't be a two. So this is at least three. It can't be a three. Can't be a four, because we'd have four plus that one would be five. Um, it can't be five. This one can't be a five down here because this would be one, two, three, four, five, six if it was connecting to the five. So it has to be at least, this cell down here has to be at least six. Now it's possible it's a six and it winds up over here, but I, I have a feeling that's not going to be the case just based on, just based on what happened at the top. Um, so now that we know this this is all part of one region. This nine can't stick out, which means it has to come over that way. So that's that. This five can't stick out there. Oh, it could go up though, maybe. Maybe, all right, these eights have to connect. I know that, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so both of these are gonna have to be connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, it could it could come up and around you know, this way and avoid that eight, but then where's that eight gonna go? Cause we know this, Three, four, five. well, is that possible? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just possible for that to be eight and this eight to connect over here and come out. So that is maybe possible, but it's not looking very likely. Oh, the two is here. We can't move that two. So this two has to come down. There we go, that's gonna help. So now the 10 has to come out the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8. It's got to have at least that, which is going to push the 7 out this way. The 3 down here. This 10 has to connect there. Which then means this is the 5. That's the only options for the 5, which connects the 8. Yep, so the 8s are connected. So this is going to... Yep, yep, I see what's going on now. So the 8s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got 6 8s. Uh, oh, this 5 has to come up here now, because we know it can't come out here and block this one. This would be a 1. We'd have two 1s next to each other. So that's a 5. So the 8s, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's got to be the 8. So now this thing can't be a 1, can't be a 2, can't be a 3, a 4, a 5, can't be a 6. Because if this was a 6 all the way at the bottom, you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You'd have 7 6s, because there's two of them there. Can't be a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be a seven. No, it can't, because this two is going to stick out here, which is going to push that seven that way. So if we connect to this seven, there's way too many sevens. So it can't be a seven. I think I see where this is going. Um, I think this is going to be a long 17 cell region, a tall one by 17. But I don't want to assume that until I know for sure. So. This two is going to come up there, so that two can't go that way. Ah, this two, these twos can't connect, so this has to come down here. Now, now we know the sevens, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's going to be a one cell. Yeah, because the seven can't come over here, so it's got to do those. That's a one. Yep. This nine has to come out here now. Uh, six. That pushes the 4 this way, so that's 4. That's the only option for the 4. The 6 has to come up here, which pushes the 9, 2, 3. So we can only get 6 cells over here in the 9 region, so it's got to come out this way. At least 3, which is going to push the 6 that way, the 9 here. And we can't go any farther because we block off this region that has to be... Now it can't be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It can't be an 8. It can't be a 9. This has to be at least 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Yep, that's what's going to happen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 7's got to go up there. The 3. Um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The 9's have to go that way. And now that this, this region has to come all the way up here. Wait, what happened? That two. Oh, why no? What? Oh, what'd I do? Ah, that doesn't have to be a thirteen. The thirteen can come out this way, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, this could be the other thirteen. So the nine actually goes this way, and the two comes down. Whew. That was a uh... yes, and this has to fill in here. Yep, okay. That was just bad counting on my part, I think. So this 2 can't come out this way because we're blocking this region that needs to be at least 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah. It's got to come all the way up to there. So that means this 2 has to come up this way. Uh, this is this has to be the 10 this can't be a 1 because it's next to the 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 can't connect to the other 10 region 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so that one has to go this way um 10 10 the 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is gonna be a 1 and then if i draw this line in it's going to uh oh what i do it should be telling us. Oh, there we go. I had to put in the 17. <laughs> Complete. It says that we did it. All right. And I am going to draw these in just just for completeness. There we go. That was a really cool puzzle. Um, I see why some people uh, recommended it to me. Um, that's pretty neat at the end there, how you, you end up with both ends. You can't put... There's just nothing else to put in there. It, it just... You can't have one, two, three, four... You know, it just... There was no other option. It's kind of interesting how it essentially is almost like two puzzles 
um, the left side and the right side that line up in this way that it forces the, the column in between them. Huh. Because essentially you could take these five cell these five columns on the right and just have that be one puzzle and the 11 columns on the left and have those be one puzzle all by themselves hmm. that's pretty neat all right well uh there you go that's philomeno uh let me know what you thought if you tried it um how you did and if you'd like to see some more philomeno in the future all right see you guys again soon